Hello. So today in this session we are going to see the next sum that is sub question seven of question number five. So in this we have to prove an identity that sine theta minus two sine cube theta divided by two cos cube theta minus cos theta is equals to tan theta. So we'll take we'll simplify the LHS here. So it's sine theta minus two sine cube theta. So if you see the sine theta is common in both this term. So we'll take sine theta common. So it will be a one minus two sine cube theta. So we have taken one times sine theta outside, so it will be sine square theta. Divide by in the denominator, it's two cos cube theta minus cos theta. So cos theta is common in both. So we'll take cos theta outside. So we'll get two cos square theta minus one. So in RHS, we want tan theta. So what is tan theta? Tan theta is nothing but sine theta upon cos theta. So in the LHS, we got uh, sine by cos that is nothing but equals to tan. So it means we have to cancel out these two brackets. So we have to make this both the terms same. So either you convert sine in terms of cos or cos in terms of sine. So suppose we take in denominator one minus sine square divided by <coughs> cos theta. Suppose we convert that. What is cos square theta? Cos square theta is nothing but one minus sine square theta because we have already studied that sine square theta plus cos square theta is nothing but equals to one. So therefore, cos square theta is nothing but one minus sine square theta. So in the place of cos, can I write one minus sine square theta? So then our numerator and denominator will come in terms of sine. So it will be one minus sine square theta minus 1 so now in the next step so it is sine theta bracket 1 minus 2 sine square theta divided by cos theta now open the bracket so it will be 2 2 into 1 2 minus 2 into sine so minus 2 sine square theta and it will be minus 1. Close the bracket. So again sin theta bracket 1 minus 2 sin square theta divided by cos theta. Now 2 minus 1 is nothing but 1 minus 2 sin square theta. Now this term and this term are the same, so they will get cancel out. So we will get sin theta divided by cos theta. And what is sin by cos is nothing but and theta. So that is nothing but equals to RHS. So this is a very simple identity that we can prove. This is how we can prove this. So just we have taken sine and cos common. Then sine by cos is nothing but tan. So we have to just cancel out these two terms. So either you convert sine square theta in terms of cos square theta or in denominator con uh, convert cos square in terms of sine. So you will get both the terms will be the same, so they will get cancelled out, so sine by cos is nothing but tan theta. So this is how we can prove this identity. So in the next session, we are going to see the 8th, that is sub question 8. Till then, practice all the identities of this exercise. We will meet in the next session. Thank you.